This is a four-month-old Shih Tzu Poodle Cross. So Today, she is getting her first so haircut. Her hair is very long, and she does have some matting on her nose and her chin and a few knots throughout her body, which I will get out after the bath, but I wanted to work out the mats around her face and her chin before I wash her as they were pr pretty tight and I just wanted to see if I could comb them out or if I had to shave her face. And uh, so I just wanted to do this before the bath. I normally wash the dog first and then I get out the mats, but I really wanted to see if I was able to work out anything. Otherwise I would shave her face first and then give her a bath. But I was able to take out the mats on her nose and on her chin. Thin and shears are excellent on mats. Just clip under the mat and just comb it a few times and it will come out. Sometimes you gotta do a few more cuts, but look, it came out. Her face is pretty dirty. And then I work on her chin. She's a pretty good dog, pretty good puppy. Usually puppies will struggle and fight, but she was great. Look at her. She's so cute yeah. and she's ready for her bath. Yay. Good boy. She's had a couple of baths already and she's pretty used to it. She just stands there like she's been groomed for years. She's so adorable. I'm just going slow so she can get used to the the water and the sound. And she seems okay. Usually puppies at this stage, you gotta, you know, they're jumping all over the place and you gotta really hold them still, but she is like a pro. Then I just wet her face gently. And look how good she is. Now she's got tears staining on her face. See all that brown? That's just uh, stains from her tears. It does not wash out. I'm going to clip a little bit of it out, but her eyes are just a tearing and it makes the fur brown. So it doesn't really wash out. I'm just going to rinse her off. She got a good shampoo. I shampooed her twice. And here she is just getting rinsed off. I love her coat long, but it's not my dog. So it's hard to, you know, deal with at home. So the owner wants her hair cut. And here she's going to get blow dried. And look at her just sitting there. It's amazing. I hold the dryer just on a certain angle so that the hair won't mat up because her hair is pretty long. If I was to hold it a different way or further away, then the hair would get all tangled up. But look at it, isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Love this hair. If she were my dog, I'd keep her long like this. But it's very hard to maintain, especially puppy coat. As they change into adult coat, the hair starts matting up. Look at that. Beautiful. After her blow drying, I brush her all out with a soft slicker. This slicker it goes right through there. There's a few little small little knots. Nothing serious. She just has a few here and there, but it's easy to brush out. And she's so good about it. Her owner taught her how to, you know, stand on the table and she brushed and combed her since she got her. And at the breeders, they groomed her as well. This is how your puppy can act if you groom your puppy early and teach him how to be brushed and combed and how to stand on the table. And you'll have a nice dog that the groomer will love. Groomers will love all dogs, but if they're like this, this is totally amazing. And look at this comb just sliding right through it. It might catch a little bit of knots. That's why I comb brush first and then comb second. With the comb, you can check to see if there's any little tiny knots. Look at her coat. I wish I didn't have to clip her, but, you know, it's very hard to maintain. So I'm just going to use a longer comb attachment. This is an E comb attachment. It leaves it pretty long, so she's still going to look nice and, like, puppyish and have a nice uh, plush coat. For a puppy, you know, they got puppy hair. I just kind of glide over. You can see the ends are just coming off. Her actually black tips, so she's going to be uh, much lighter now. Not much black tips will be left. So I'm just taking off the ends, which are like fuzzy. And 
And I just go down the ribs here, go with the growth of the coat along the back, down the sides, down the thighs. And down the shoulders. Basically I'm going to use this E all over. And just kind of doing it like lightly on the legs. Here she's going to sit down. Got to stand her up and she knows just to stand up a little bit. I kind of comb it up on the legs because it's so uh, flat, the hair is so flat, so I just got to comb it upwards just so I can get the ends off. See, she still looks nice and floppy. There, I back combed it, but I'm not going to clip it because I'd make it much shorter. So I just do. I comb the hair back down and clip over top. If I was to clip it when I back combed it there, it would make it a lot shorter. Here I'm just doing her neck and down her um, elbows and her shoulders and down her legs. The chin everywhere. See all those black tips coming off? There's a knot there. Then I'm just going to trim around her feet, just make them round. Could use curved shears here, but I just use my straight uh, Kenchi shears. I'm just going to do like an outline trim. Just basically any of the wispy parts hanging off. You can see the wispy parts. And how she gets older, I'm sure uh, we'll cut the coat, coat shorter. You can see there's a knot here. That's a pretty big one. I just clipped that out. No use yanking and pulling on that. You can't even see it when you comb it. All the other hair covers it. I don't like to cause pain if I don't, you know, need to. I don't want to cause pain at all. But, uh, you know, some magic can get out without causing pain, but that's a very tender area, so I just uh, cut that right out. You can't even tell that it was even there. There's some wispy parts there. I love working with puppy hair. So for the front legs, I just comb everything down and just trim. Like, basically, I'm doing, like, an outline trim. I've already went over it with the, the number E, uh, comb attachment. Not not a lot came off on the legs. I'm just trimming around the foot here. Kind of leaving it more natural, more puppyish looking. You can see the wispy ends there. I'm just taking all that off. So it's still full, still looks nice and fluffy for the owner. She was actually very thrilled with the look. Uh, once she picked her up. This dog is standing like a show dog. Look how still it is at four months old. This is how all dogs should be on the grooming table. If you groom your dogs often or you know you get your customers if you're a groomer to get the dogs in on a monthly basis especially when they're puppies um, the dog will be nice and easy to groom on the table. The longer you wait between groomings the worse it is for the dog. And now I'm going to be trimming just around her eyes. She's a little bit nervous, but she's okay. Now, the owner wanted to leave her eyelashes. <laughs> you can see how long they are. Aren't they cute? I thought they were adorable. At least they grow away from her eyes. They're not growing into her eyes. <laughs> so I left them. Uh, it's so cute. I'm using the same uh, comb attachment and number E, just taking off anything on under her beard. Oh, there's that knot. I got to get that out. And uh, you can see the black tips again coming off. I do down the cheeks and down the face. This is a pretty long blade, so the face um, will need to be a little bit scissored later on. 
behind her ears. I'm just going to leave her ears natural. They're not that long yet, so I'll just leave them alone. Here I comb everything forward. Gonna take my clipper, the same comb, number E, and I just trim toward her nose. Not much is coming off, but just the tips. I then just trim the bangs straight across using my straight shears. Being careful not to cut her eyelashes. Then I use my thinning shears just between the eyes there and then the corner of the eyes. Sorry my hands in the way here. Right there we go. Just to make it look more natural instead of shaving right there to make it like bald. I like to make it more natural. Lots of combing, always lots of combing. You can comb and comb and comb all day and you'll get some stick up hairs, but you gotta stop somewhere. Here I'm using my thinners, just so that I don't leave any straight lines on the top of the head. I use my thinners to shorten the beard and shorten the face has it matted very easily as you've seen in the beginning so the owner wants it shorter so she can maintain it at home and the dog gets you know water and food in its face so short faces are more practical more easier to care for and look how good she is isn't she adorable look at her she's so cute I think she's gonna fall asleep here I am just taking out the bulk of the hair under the ears so the ear can fall down and I'm just taking off all those uh, black tips just to make the hair color more like uniform. She had a lot of hair under the ears as well. Your ears can breathe better now. And I do the same to the other side. Goodbye puppy hair. <laughs> all those black tips. And when you work with puppy hair, it's easy to leave marks on their hair. And that's why it's nice to use the thinning shears, uh, especially on puppy hair. Just so it makes it look more natural and you don't see those, you know, sharp lines that, that are left by the scissors. And here I just comb everything forward and take off all those hairs that are uh, pointing out beyond her nose. Just to make it look more round looking. And using my thinners on top of the nose just to get all those hairs that are sticking up. And here I just take the comb and I comb through her whole body everywhere just to make sure I didn't miss any knots or if there's any hair sticking out that I will uh, clip off. I didn't trim her tail. I didn't trim her ears. Um, they're just going to grow out a little bit more. They don't really need trimming um, at this time. And uh, she's looking pretty good. This She still looks like a cute little fluffy puppy. If you're interested in any of the products that I use in this video, I'll put all the links down below in the description. I do have an Amazon store uh, where I have grooming products um, that I use and I recommend to you. So go check that out. I also have a lot of playlists on different breeds of dogs and different dogs that I groom. So always go check out the description for all that information. And here she is before. 
and after. If you want to see more grooming videos, click on the videos that are on their screen and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I will see you next time.